Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again, and we welcome you back to another video. Um, first, before I get started, I just want to hope, or I just want to say I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, the two rants that I did. On The first one was on the MPAA, and the second one was on the, you know, the quote-unquote new generation. And that one, you know, I put mega rant, and it was, you know, I just really kind of went off and exploded, but that's a good thing. Um, you know, I know that, again, like with everything that I do, I know people aren't going to agree with it and whatever, but you know what? I'm, the, I'm here to, to tell the truth. You know, I'm here to tell the truth as I see it. You know, I'm here to share, you know, my opinion on things, my thoughts on things. You know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna be popular in what I say, and I'm not going to be politically correct and everything. But that's not how I was taught. That's not how I was raised. So, you know, I'm, I always speak the truth. I think for those of you that have been watching for a while, I think you know by now. You know, I always speak the truth, and that's just the way it is. I think everybody should do that, you know. You know, speak your mind. If you don't like something, you got to speak up. But, you know, it, what I said was true, you know, in the, I think in the second one I said it, the, uh, the new generation rant. You know, things are only going to get worse, and you got to speak up and do something about it. You can't just sit there and just expect things to get better. You got to, that was Facebook. Um, you got to just, you got to, you got to take a stand in life. You can't sit there and expect things to get better. But anyway, enough about that. On um, this video, something a little bit different. Like I said, I will, you know, I, I, I will be getting to Schwarzenegger. I'm just taking a little break because um, I want to watch his films and catch up. And I'm trying to watch other stuff right now. I'm trying to finish up some stuff. I just finished Tales from the Crypt today. Um, so I'm trying to get through TV shows and watch some other movies before I get to that. So that stuff will be coming. Um, but basically, um, OCP Communications, a.k.a. Mike, sent me a message on Facebook, and he said that he is writing a paper um, for school. I think he said uh, a journalistic essay, and he wanted, and he's doing it on VHS collecting, and he sent me some questions because he, he, uh, he knows that I, like him, collect VHS, and he sent me um, eight questions. Um, I've sent him responses already, but I figured, hey, why not do a video for it? You know, I think that would be really cool. So, Mike, if you're watching, I just want to thank you for, you know, thank you for picking me to answer questions. I really appreciate that. So, I'm going to try not to take too long here. Um, but first question, he said, what are your feelings about VHS collectors and why do you feel that way? Well, you know, I feel that people who collect VHS is awesome. I think that's great that um, there's people besides me that, you know, still collect the format. Um, it's, I think the format's highly collectible. Um, VHS collectors, this is just my opinion, but well, they will never get the respect that they deserve. You know, you got people out there that collect vinyl records, CDs, you know, artwork, jewelry, this and that, and they get all these documentaries and, and news reports and appreciation days and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that VHS collectors don't get documentaries because, um, uh, two great documentaries have just came out. The first one was Be Kind Rewind, and I forget what the other one was called, but um, that was a great documentary as well. And yeah, VHS collectors, I, in my opinion, it doesn't matter how many documentaries will come out, how much promotion it gets. I don't think they'll ever get. We will ever get the respect that we deserve. You know, because VHS again, I think is a highly collectible format. I think there's many reasons to collect VHS, whether it's trying to get you know, um, different versions of movies that only came out on VHS or different artwork. Um, you know, for those of you that, again, know me, you know, wrestling events. I like to, I'm a big wrestling fan. You know, wrestling, all the stuff out on VHS is all the original stuff. You're not going to get that on the WWE Network. You're not going to get that on the DVDs unless you're buying bootlegs, you know. That's just how it is. Um... You know, and people just like collecting VHS for artwork. You know, again, the artwork is, is a definitely a big part of VHS collecting. And the reason why I feel this way is because, you know, I collect it. And I know a few other people that collect it. You know, sometimes people will get on, you know, they'll try to get on me and stuff. Well, why do you still collect VHS? It's 2014. But I don't think people 
realize how important it is, and I don't think people will understand how important it is, and I don't think people want to admit it either. I don't think a lot of people want to admit how important VHS tapes are. So my hats go off to anybody that collects VHS because it's a great thing to collect. Question number two, do you like VHS? If so, explain why you like the format and what qualities it possesses that you particularly enjoy. Um, I, I love VHS. I love it. I, I, I can honestly say that I love the format. Um, you know, I love it, again, for many reasons. Like, I, I, you know, I just said some reasons. You know, I like the fact that you can get all the WrestleManias, all the SummerSlams, Royal Rumble, King of the Ring, Survivor Series, In Your House, you know, WCW, you know, Starcade, Halloween Havoc, uh, Fall Brawl, Slamboree, Great American Bash, Bash at the Beach. I like how you can get all the old school wrestling events completely uncut. All the original music, all the entrances, you know, a lot of them, you know, like, you know, the Chris Benoit stuff is getting edited out now. And slowly they're bringing it back. But, you know, and then ECW, ECW, all their stuff was distributed on, on VHS. That's how people found out about the company was because people were trading VHS tapes and buying VHS tapes. That's how people found out about it. You know, again, you know, movies, there's so, there's hundreds of movies out there which are not on DVD for various reasons. The only way to get them is on VHS. And if you're lucky, Laserdisc, for those that collect Laserdisc, like me and Mike, Mike collects Laserdisc. Um, you know, there's hundreds of movies out there which will never come out on DVD. They're only on VHS. Artwork. The, you know, the DVD will have a generic artwork. The VHS has much better artwork. You know, director's cuts, special editions, extended versions, original versions that are only on VHS. And, you know, just movies that people love. They grew up watching it on VHS. They grew up renting the VHS. They remember when it came out. They remember the commercials. So, many qualities. You know, many, many qualities that I, you know, that it possesses me to enjoy it and why I like it. Third question, um, why do you think the format has still survived and has gained a new life and beta has not? Well, to be honest, um, if my facts are correct, I think that VHS was easier and cheaper to produce than beta. And I don't. I think beta was just something that people didn't understand, to be honest. I think that beta was, you know, and, and I don't want anybody that collects beta to take this the wrong way, but I think that a lot of people saw beta as the poor man's VHS. You know, I think that people kind of look down upon Beta. And I don't. I think that, you know, if people collect Betamax, great. I mean, I'll never collect it because I don't have a purpose to collect it. And to be honest, I don't have the room for another player and tapes. And I don't have, I don't have room for it. You know, but I just think that people, I just think that people didn't get it. People did not understand Betamax. And, you know, VHS was just, I think, if I'm correct, was cheaper and easier to make. And I think that, you know, people, you know, for a marketability standpoint, I think a lot of people preferred VHS. Because I think the way that they marketed the VHS tapes, I think VHS was marketed a lot more than, than Betamax. And I think that's why a lot of people stuck with VHS. Okay, next up, why do you collect V or would you collect VHS? I'm, I'm sorry. Or do you already? If so... Um, or if so, why do you do so? Okay, um, I think at this point everybody knows I definitely collect VHS. Um, and again, many, many reasons why I collect VHS. You know, movies, again, not on DVD. You know, wrestling events, completely uncut. Different artwork, different versions of a movie. A lot of, a lot of special edition VHS tapes have stuff that never came out on DVD or Blu-ray. Um, and again, just, you know, movies that I love, you know. Again, for those that know me, you know, I like collecting the old school action films on VHS because that's how I grew up with a lot of them. That's how I saw a lot of those movies, you know. And I just remember going in the video stores when I was younger and just looking at the box art, you know. What is this movie? What is this about? You know, this was the days before YouTube and, and Daily Motion and Video Detective and Internet Movie Database. You know, this was when you actually had to go to a video store or a movie theater or buy a magazine, which people don't really do anymore, to learn about movies, to find out about which movies were coming out when and what was going to be on the tape and was it going to have features and this and that. 
So there's there's many reasons why I collect VHS, and you know I've I probably have several hundred tapes at this point, and you know my collection is only going to grow. I mean there's still a ton of things out there that I'm trying to get on VHS because it's not on DVD. It's different. I really love the movie. The artwork is better. Whatever it is, you know there's there's many reasons why I collect VHS and. Again, I take extreme pride in my VHS collection. It's VHS is always going to be my favorite format. Always. Doesn't matter what comes along. It's always going to have that. Next question. If you do collect VHS, how does it make you feel when you pick up a new one to add to your collection? It's great. It's, it's a heartwarming experience. Um, again, for nostalgia, I think that it's just, it, it's just awesome to look back, you know, because... Here we are, you know, it's 2014. VHS stopped being made about 10 years ago. I think 2005 was the last year they made VHS. And look what we've gotten in nine years. We've gotten Blu-ray. You know, for a little while we had HD DVD, which didn't catch on. You know, and look how far we've come in nine years from, from VHS and DVD to DVD, HD DVD to Blu-ray to... DVD and Blu-ray, and now digital copies, digital downloads. Look how far we've come in just nine years. It's hard to believe that, nine years. But, you know, whenever I get a tape, you know, it just it makes me feel good. It's heartwarming. That's why I love going to places like Goodwill and other thrift stores, you know, um, yard sales. Uh, there's no swap meets around here, but if, but if I ever went to one, VHS tapes would definitely be something I'm looking for. You know, going online to eBay mostly. Amazon.com, Half.com, different websites. You know, even just going on collectors' websites just to look at artwork and reviews and everything. You know, it's just a heartwarming experience. You know, when I go, when I go out with my friends or something, and we go to a Goodwill, I always look through the VHS tapes because there might be something in there that I'm looking for. You know, it's just very heartwarming. You know, when I find one, it doesn't matter if it's a wrestling event or a movie or a concert, or maybe it's a recorded tape that somebody just got rid of and it has something on there that I'm interested in. It's just very heartwarming to know, you know, cool, I found this. You know, I've been looking for this, or I didn't know this was around. This is great. This is awesome. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel happy, you know. And again, I think a lot of that's the nostalgia part, you know, because I grew up, I was born in 92, so I grew up in the, the mid-90s, the early, or, you know, the early 2000s the late 90s, so I remember when VHS was really kind of at the end of its heyday, you know, because at that point, you know, t uh, tapes were being priced to own, you know, 1498 or 1998, you know, so people weren't really renting a lot, I mean, they still were, but, you know, and I remember when VHS was coming out at 998, 1298, DVDs were coming around, so I remember all that, you know, and the, again, it's the nostalgia factor. You know, something I couldn't have when I was a kid that I can have now. So there you go. Uh, next question. Do you think all movies should be in the digital format in the future? Um, yes and no. Um, I would love to see every single movie out there be readily available in a digital format. Whether it be a DVD, a Blu-ray. You know, I'm not so much on the downloading. Um, you know, the digital downloading. I I'll download a movie if it's not on DVD, you know, to make it my own DVD-R. But, you know, I would love to see it, and it's probably not going to happen. Um, and I think the reason why is, you know, these companies, you know, now they do these archive collections, you know, these release-on-demand collections and stuff like that. But the problem with those are, you might as well just hold on to your VHS tapes, because these, these companies, they only do it to cash in. You know, they have no interest in going back and digitally remastering these films, to DVD quality or Blu-ray quality. They don't want to take the time to put them in widescreen. They don't want to find trailers or TV spots or any kind of extra material they might have on these films. So they do it because they're lazy and it's cheap. It's cheap to put it on a DVD-R and charge someone $20, $30 and say, here you go, here's your movie. But the quality is not going to be the best. You know, you'll have digital, you'll have pixels, you'll have video compression. Because these companies don't want to take the time to go back and remaster these films. And that's why films, not, 
you know, fil even film prints are being destroyed and being lost and deteriorated because these companies don't want to take the time to go back and preserve these films for the future. And that's why a lot of films, the only way that people are going to know about them is on something like a VHS tape. There's a lot of films out there where the original film print, the original negative is gone, whether it deteriorated or was destroyed or whatever. The only way to, to view a lot of films is on VHS, or if you're lucky, a laser disc. You know, so I, you know, I'm for digital, you know, digital formats, and I'm not talking about digital copies, digital downloads. I'm talking about DVD and Blu-ray, a physical digital copy of a film that the quality is good. It's in widescreen. It's remastered. It's in the fullest, you know, quality that we can get it. And there's extra features. There's trailers. There's TV spots. There's deleted scenes. There's whatever. But it probably will never happen. And I know this is a very touchy subject with VHS collectors and just film collectors in general. You know, I know that a lot of people would love to see it happen, but it probably won't happen, unfortunately. Um, next question, what are your opinions on physical copies of film, VHS, or otherwise? You know, again, I think that it's the best thing to do is have a physical copy. You know, and again, I know people say, well, why do you still collect VHS? Why do you still collect Laserdisc? Because again, a lot of films are still not on DVD to this day. You know, look at, you know, a lot of Lorenzo Lamas films aren't on DVD. Um, there's some Charles Bronson films which aren't on DVD. John Wayne films, you know, uh, Michael Dudikoff movies, Jeff Speakman, a lot, most of his movies, the ones that he stars in are not on DVD. You know, there's many films out there that will never see the light of day on DVD, let alone Blu-ray, you know, because of rights or whatever. And, you know, when I find a movie like that, you know, that's really the ticket. You know, that's the ticket. I got this. You know, this is mine. This is my copy. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a pride thing, really. It really is. And I take great pride when I find any type of VHS tape, you know, and, and physical copies is the way to go. Again, in my opinion. And also, you know, I think the crown jewel of collecting VHS tapes, I think it's, you know, stuff that's not on DVD. And I think it's, you know, screener copies of movies, promotional copies, demo tapes, you know, stuff that was never made for public distribution but got out there anyway. I think those are really the, the cream of the crop when it comes to collecting VHS. And again, physical copies will always be the way to go. And I don't understand why people have a hard time understanding this question. You know, I don't under or and you know this, you know, why have phys yeah, why have a physical copy? I don't you know, people were like, well you can get it on a hard drive, you can get it on a flash drive, a thumb drive, you can download it, but that that information will be deleted at some point or another. You know. But I never I don't I never, I will never understand why people don't get it. You know, I really don't. I don't understand it. I'll never will. But oh well. And then the last question is, what is your history with VHS? Any fun stories regarding you and the format? Well there's a lot of stories out there, stories about how I got certain tapes or you know, discovering movies and stuff like that. So it would be really it would take a long time to sit down and talk about, you know, different stories and, and, and everything. But my history with it is just like everybody else that grew up in my generation. You know, the people my age, a little bit younger, older. You know, just going to a video store. You know, renting movies, buying movies used, going to Walmart or Kmart or wherever. You know, a movie, an actual movie store, which they don't have anymore. You know, like Suncoast Video. You know, for those that remember those, you know, and just looking at different tapes and buying different tapes and inquiring about different tapes. When is this going to come out? Does this have features? Is it in widescreen? Is it, is it a different packaging? You know, that was just the beauty part of it, you know. And again, you know, doing that and even taping stuff off of, off of cable and taping movies and taping episodes of TV shows and commercials and stuff like that. You know, so it's all... It's all the nostalgia factor when it comes to history. And I think that a lot of people, again, that's why a lot of people love the format. That's why a lot of people still collect the format because of the nostalgia factor, which is amazing. Um, but like I said, too many stories to tell. You know, it would take forever if I sat down and, and tried to talk about them. 
But anyway, guys, I just wanted to make a little video. You know, it's fun to do these kind of things. But again, if Mike, if you're watching, I want to thank you for sending me these questions. Greatly appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed the answers. I hope that everything goes well on your paper. And I uh, want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.